times. Dance, drama, music and writing have been creative mediums of expression that not only bring versatility to one's personality but also joyful tidings to the world around. Moreover, these forms of expression become agents of holistic healing, keeping us active and expressive. Through the year, we learn various dimensions of communication in our school. Among the classical arts, Kathak derived from the word Katha, meaning a story is widely practiced across North India. Today, on our annual day, on the theme, Heal the World, we present before you a tarana in Kathak, composed in the Rag Bhairavi, as we are pulled music and dance as a means of expression, creation, joy, and holistic healing.
Namaskar. Today, the earth and its people need to recoup and revive like never before. From the years 2020 to 2022, we have seen an unprecedented loss of life and a major impact on people's physical and mental health. Alongside, we have also seen massive superhuman efforts being made to save life and humanity. We believe that we need to work together as a civilization to make our world a better place. For that, we require healing mechanisms at multiple levels to work together in unison. We also need to keep in mind our environment and surroundings to ensure a healthier world. Keeping this idea in mind, we at St. Stephen's celebrate the spirit of healing in our annual day and prize giving function on the theme, Heal the World. That was such a beautiful holiday. I had a wonderful time being here. I am leaving tomorrow, but I really do not feel like going back. It was equally wonderful for us to host you. I can't really carry all your Indian delicacies with me, but I am carrying the flavor of your warm hospitality with me. Mm, wait a minute, maybe you can carry your flavors too. How is it possible? I have a baggage restriction after all. Here, our flavors and fragrances will go with you. Instead of giving you sweets, my mother thought you should have something that would also be symbolic of good health and wellness for you. Wellness. This is fragrant. It immediately puts me in a good mood. Is that what you mean by wellness? That and more. These spices have healing properties, right from treating inflammation to helping in digestion and providing micronutrients. These spices play an essential role in our food and our overall health. Come, let me take you through this spice box. Each spice has its own character deeply connected with the traditional wisdom of our country. One that we need to hold on to as we navigate the future. Well, today the world needs to recoup and heal like never before. I would love to see the role of your spices and traditional wisdom in healing. Namaskar. I am turmeric, an essential ingredient of the Indian cuisine. From ancient times, my root has been used in Ayurveda to treat various diseases. Today, my friend Turmeric has international fame. Cafes abroad make Turmeric Latte, our good old Haldi Dood, given by Indian parents and grandparents to children for its health benefits. And my friend Pepper, your value is something else. You add flavor and depth to everything you are added to. With richness of flavor comes the depth of your nutrients. Magnesium, vitamin K, iron, vitamin C. No wonder you are called the king of spices. And our Indian cuisine is incomplete without its beloved Kali Mirch. These spices are complementary to each other and work together to make lives better. Just like the many voices in prayer in India, there are various shloks, hymns, ayats, chants, and shabads from different religions that put one to ease just by chanting or singing them. Indeed, just like us spices that have individual benefits and yet work in unison, prayers from different religions have healing mechanisms in their words and rhythms. Come, let us be one with the supreme power and begin with the power of faith. Thank you. 
look, here is my friend Clo. We call her Long in India. She is rich in eugenol, a component that fights infections and suppresses pain. Remember how Clo oil is used for relieving pain in tooth and gums and athlete's foot. Namaskar. I am happy to help you in the way you want. But today, I would like to tell you about another universal ancient wisdom, which is your legacy, and that is yoga, a science and a way of life. In simple terms, yoga means union. Yoga is about creating the perfect balance in physical, mental, and emotional health. Yoga gurus also call it a science to determine the nature of who you are and who you want to be, a deeply inner experience. Though yoga was being practiced even in the pre-Vedic period, the great sage Patanjali systematized and codified the then existing practices of yoga, its meaning and its related knowledge through the yoga sutras. Yoga is as old as time and 2015 onwards an international yoga day is being observed on june 21 the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere come let's bask in the glory of this discipline which has worldwide recognition but its roots lie firm in india सांसों में छिपा है ये पुरखों की कृपा है ये दिखलाए गरासता अतियोगा निशासन में प्रसिद्ध जो अपने आप सिद्ध जो रखना इस पे आस था अतियोगा निशासन अतियोगा निशासन योगा रंभ हो
शासनम अथ योगानुशासनम तन मन में सो रंग भरो योग करो योग करो तन मन में सो रंग भरो योग करो योग करो आज से आरंभ करो योग करो योग करो पंख खोल दो तितली बनो मोर बनो फिर उड़ने लगो पुष्ट के जैसे अंग करो सिर उठा के भुजंग बनो शेर बनो तुम दहाड़ लो मान लो तुम पहाड़ हो How our classical art of Odissi blends in effortlessly with the rhythm of yoga, classic and contemporary, both exist in the healing mechanisms of our country, just like warmth and sweetness come together in my delightful friend cinnamon, that has the highest antioxidant content among us spices. Namaskar. I help protect your body against rapid aging. You call me as Dalchini. I also help in controlling blood sugar, cholesterol levels and keep your weight in check. But do you know what could magnify my benefits metaphor? It's when you could get up and can celebrate the power of movement bestowed upon your body. That is true, Cinnamon. Like you bring antioxidants Exercise releases endorphins. Feel good hormones, reduce stress and improve your sense of well-being. Exercise is a non-negotiable aspect of wellness. And not just in dedicated hour you devote to it. You have to be active throughout the day. Two decades ago, everyone could climb stories without needing lifts. Today, parking lot seems far away. Yes, but now with rising awareness, we also have open gyms in parks and groups of morning walkers. Come, let's celebrate movement with our young, energetic friends.
content amid other grains keeps the body blood circulation active and so prevent heart diseases. My friend Cardamom helps further with her benefits. No wonder Elaichi is called the queen of spices. Namaskar. Movement is symbolic of life. Just like development is symbolic of growth. The growth of a civilization is reached through development. But today, mindless construction, blocking of riverbeds, building of hotels on delicate mountains have turned development into destruction. Yes, it's often thought that this is the price that we have to pay for the development. Let's not go far away. In this very town, the surrounding Aravlis are gradually disappearing, all in name of progress. However, development should not come at the cost of displacement of natural resources, or else the destruction coming with it would ruin the whole idea anyway. I stand in with four green, and I would like to tell you about a man of our times who has shown us how development and growth are in sync with the environment and not against it. Come, let's go to another desert, the cold one, high up in the Himalayas, to learn how to protect our environmental health, without which individual well-being is not possible. My bag is so heavy. I find it difficult to carry up the hill. We have all the books. We crammed facts and missed the understanding. Our dreams are trapped in these pages of textbooks written in English while we speak Ladakhi. We feel like caged birds with clipped wings. Look at our children burdened with heavy bags and drained out of their spirit. There must be a better way. Why do you look so exhausted? So, we are stressed and anxious. The pressure to excel is crushing us. We don't understand anything the teachers. We are disconnected from our culture and heritage. Sonam, our education system is ailing and our children are suffering. How can we break free from traditions, Chris, and heal our children? We need a spark, a revolution in education. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? The plight of the children disturbed Sonam. He reminisced his own school days. Once upon a time, I was much like them seeking knowledge within the walls of a classroom. But the rigid structure left me yearning for something more. And then this thought took over Sunam so much that he decided to do something about it. From the dusty streets of Rajasthan to the vastness of Ladakh, our extraordinary journey began. Let's heal our children through Sekmol with colorful artwork, Ladakhi symbols and a nurturing atmosphere. The winds of change whispered. I have a plan. What's, What's your, your plan? plan? Let's take the classroom to the mountains, the river banks and the fields. Learning should be an adventure, a quest of hearts and innovation. Sure. sure. Are you wondering, what did they do? Let me show you the working of the new school SECMOL, Students' Educational and Cultural Movement of Ladakh. Come! Mall, we learn to embrace our culture. It's a source of strength and healing. Sir, we have come to you wondering if your high level of education can help us find a solution to our problem of water shortage in the months of April and May. 
we also face shortage of fuel to keep our homes warm and get warm water sure we will see what we can do thank, thank you so, so much. much what do you say children sure sir i think we should do something about it how about using temperature and water pressure to store water good idea come let's start working on it and what about fuel problem hmm that's easy let sun is the power of sun make solar cookers and heaters great I'm proud of you children. See, we have found solutions to the problems of a village. Let us implement these and see. What is this? Ice tube. What? Ice tube? How does it work? Ice tube is a glacier grafting technique to store water in form of conical ice heaps. During summer this ice will melt. and then we can use this water for our crops really great work we are really thankful to you our crops will thrive our homes will be lit and warm oh no ajang the village is as much as us as yours we also live here it's our duty to help each other Nature is the greatest teacher. See how excited the children are. This is the real education. They sense responsibility and connectivity. I am sure they will also learn to preserve and protect our environment and ensure sustainable development. Our education should prepare us for life's challenges. School should be hubs of learning. community empowerment nurturing both minds and society our students are not just learners they are architects of change with these innovations they give back to society making it a better place to live do you think this is an imaginary story no 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 my dear friends this is a real story of a real person sonam bangchuk and this is a real school in ladakh sek mall shri wangchuk is an engineer by education known for his innovations and work in the education reform area because of his focus on indigenous ways of progress he is called the gandhi of ladakh following his example we can also use our education to improve our lives and society Thank, Thank you. you. Shri Sonam Wangchuk has displayed in his life and work how development and environment have a complementary relationship. Talking of relationships, healthy relationships are an essential factor in one's overall health. In balancing the relationship with one's body, my friend Ginger plays a significant role namaskar i am adrag i help in aiding your digestion and make your immunity stronger and when you have cough and cold alongside your mother i soothe you with my warmth comfort is an essential aspect of my being just like the comfort of healthy relationships helps you heal so true ginger India is home to large families and what is important is that we traditionally have had a relationship with people and all the elements of life our rivers of sustenance are mothers birds and animals are confidants and our mountains are rocks of support like our fathers breezes like siblings soothers flowers are equated to young children 
and the seas. They are our forefathers who hold all our stories in their depths. Don't we learn to address the moon as our mama in childhood rhymes? Relationships make us strong and heal us. Come, let us salute this relationship with nature through a dedication to our mother river, Bhagirati. देखो देखो एक नदी बल खा के चली रे अरे सोनी सोनी वादी में लहरा के चली रे सारे पत्थर चट्टाने पिघला के चली रे थोड़ी शीतल हुहारे बरसा के चली रे देखो The flow of the river teaches us introspection, taking life as it comes and choosing what is good for us. Application matters as much as concept and consistent integration of good practices make life better. 
a little amount of progress every day yields great results just like my friend cumin here a daily part of indian cooking a small amount of it in one's daily diet brings great health benefits namask namaskar i am jira i contain cumin aldehyde that has anti inflammatory properties and lowers the risk of chronic diseases drinking cumin water is considered beneficial for young children and women as i am high in iron content the key to consistent good health though is a routine of wellness practices wellness practices are an inseparable part of education as important as textbooks because only a healthy mind and body can be conducive to learning come let's witness how these practices are integrated within the lives of students the location of the school in the lap of aravlis itself is soothing looking at the mountains the rising sun in the morning the chirping of the birds the green trees the colorful flowers are enough to calm a person's mind and body to ensure a healthy body the school gives opportunity to the children to learn and practice yoga sports like cricket football basketball dances and songs participating in scouts and bulbul activities also help in inculcating the values of self discipline patriotism cooperation etc reading books in the library writing in the classroom and experimenting in the labs all help children see the world in a new light beginning with our arrival at school and ending with our departure from the school we observe that many healing practices are followed in the school a sense not just connects us but gives us an opportunity to introspect through the assembly the students are given time to eat healthy fruits and nuts in the classes after all a healthy mind lives in a healthy body my question to you now is why should we eat fruits fruits are good health they give us energy they protect us from diseases keeping focus on its commitment towards environment tree plantation campaigns are organized regularly how will you care for the sapling you have planted i will water the plants daily i never realized the number of things we do in our school other than learning for the exams and taking exams definitely our school prepares us for everything i really love our school st stevens senior secondary school let us make the best memories as long as we are here thank you it is very important indeed to incorporate these practices they go a long way to build up long term immunity however despite one's best efforts sometimes one is caught unaware a significant spice that aids in keeping one's internal body clean is my friend coriander rich in the all important vitamin k namaskar you call me dhania in my leaf form i am known to add freshness to your food but my association with health and wellness is also about lowering water retention and helping in kidney function and overall organ health the need more pronounced in recent years our world has just seen 
an unprecedented health exigency. In that time, there were these forms of essential nutrients and vitamins doing the all-important work of helping people find medical aid and healing. Our doctors, nurses and paramedical staff. Yes, our COVID warriors who worked against all odds, risking their own lives as they stood in the front line of the war that endangered all of humanity. We can and should never forget their contributions. So many people live today because a healer exists. Let us pay a tribute to our COVID warriors. और नियत साफ हो काम हो अच्छे हमारे और नियत साफ हो है वही इंसान जहां इंसानियत का वास हो है वही इंसान जहां इंसानियत का वास हो काम हो अच्छे हमारे और नियत साफ हो है वही इंसान जहां इंसानियत का वास हो है वही इंसान जहां इंसानियत का रब भी देता है दुआएं ऐसे उस हम दर्द को दूसरों के दर्द में जो अपने दर्द को रब भी देता है दुआएं ऐसे उस हम दर्द को बांट ले सुख दुख को जिसके दिल में ऐसी प्यास हो है वही इंसान जहां इंसानियत का वास हो है वही इंसान जहां इंसानियत का वास हो प्यार पाना कर्म है इंसान का मानव है तो मानवता ही धर्म है इंसान का प्यार देकर प्यार पाना कर्म है इंसान का मानव है तो ठिकाना प्रेम का निवास हो है वही इंसान जहां इंसानियत का वास हो है वही इंसान जहां इंसानियत का वास हो काम हो अच्छे हमारे और नियत साफ हो है वही इंसान जहां इंसानियत का वास हो है वही 
से है प्यार तो हर पल ये कहना चाहिए मैं रहूं या ना रहूं भारत ये रहना चाहिए सिलसिला ये बाद मेरे यूं ही चलना चाहिए मैं रहूं या ना रहूं भारत ये रहना चाहिए मेरी नस नस तार कर दो और बना दो एक सितार राग भारत मुझ पे छेड़ो झंझनाओ बार बार देश से ये प्रेम आंखों से छलकना चाहिए मैं रहूं या ना रहूं भारत ये रहना चाहिए है मुझे सौगंध भारत भारत है मुझे भूलू ना एक क्षण तुझे का तिन का था हमने सवारा अपनी वो माटी और घर बारा लुट रहा ये चमन अपना वतन आंखों से अपनी लुट रहा ये चमन अपना वतन आंखों से अपनी संकल्प बोल के हम तो निकल पड़े हर द्वार खोल के गगन कहे विजय भवन विजय भवन pandemic world is still working on improving its health and looking at sustained ways of addressing one's holistic health requirements there has traditionally been one answer to all the issues related to the stomach in grandma's book of kitchen remedies one without which most indian curries are incomplete and that spice is my distinctly fragrant friend asafetida namaskar i am your very own hing i represent a significant taste of india however i am not indian in origin i am indian by adoption i stand for assimilation and absorption asafetida grown in cold regions becomes the first spice added to many a hot indian recipes its remarkable presence adds a distinct texture without which the base of every meal is incomplete thank you but i alone don't do the trick there's a harmony in as spices almost like musical notes by the way Music therapy is an important aspect of healing and the diversity and assimilation in it adds new meaning to its vast expanse of rhythm come let's understand the uniqueness diversity integration 
and the energetic impact of music in this performance.
The music can come from diverse sources, but the harmony it brings to the rhythm of life is universal. Harmony and balance are the core of any healing mechanism. Just like my friend Karam seen here, with an active ingredient called thymol, she propagates a good gut health and thus creates a balance in the body. Namaskar, I am Ajwain, your usual desi substitute of antacid. And my side effects are giving your stomach a natural detox, which is why I have been grandma's go-to spice. My friends and I believe that indigenous wisdom is the answer to many our troubles related to health today. Yes, our indigenous practices have timeless wisdom. Just like there's a science in waking up early, following the natural clock of the body, and eating simple home-cooked meals rich with micronutrients. Home-cooked meals till a few decades ago had a lot of diversity in the terms of grains we used. Today, we stick to only one kind of grain, but it is a balance of grains and local millets that make us healthy. Come, let us understand the power of indigenous millets in our holistic health. कुछ बताने कुछ समझाने कुछ दिखाने कुछ सिखाने हम आए हैं हम आए हैं नमस्कार मम्मी ओ मम्मी कहां हो भूख लगी है आजा बेटा मैं रसोई घर में हूँ खाना तैयार है तुम हाथ मुँह धोकर आ जाओ और तुम्हारी दीदी को भी बुला लो दीदी ओ दीदी आ जाओ खाना तैयार है हाँ रोहन आई मम्मी ये क्या है ये सब आप तो रोज रोज मैं नहीं खाऊंगा मम्मी मैं भी ये नहीं खाऊंगी अरे बेटा अरे मुन्नी सुनो तो सुनो तो अरे रोहन और मुन्नी ऐसे रूठे हुए क्यों बैठे हो क्या बात है बताओ तो पिताजी क्या आपको मालूम है कल मैं मेरे दोस्त रोहित के घर गया था उसकी मम्मी ने हमें पिज्जा पास्ता बर्गर और भी कई चीजें खिलाई थी और मम्मी तो अच्छा हाँ पिताजी मम्मी तो कभी यह नहीं बनाती है हाँ पिताजी रोहन सही तो कह रहा है मेरी सहेलिया भी ऐसा भोजन करती रहती है बच्चों क्या तुम्हें मालूम है हमारे घर पर जो भोजन बनता है और जिसे तुम्हारी माँ बड़े स्नेह व रुचि से बनाती है वह फास्ट फूड आदि विदेशी आहार से कई अधिक गुणकारी है और यह स्वास्थ्यवर्धक भी है पर पिताजी हमें तो ये मालूम ही नहीं है तुम तो अभी बच्चे हो बड़े भी इस मोटे अनाज का महत्व नहीं जानते हैं मुझे भी मेरे पिताजी यानी तुम्हारे दादा ने समझाया था चलो मैं तुम्हें उनके पास ले चलता हूँ प्रणाम दादी जी प्रणाम दादा जी खुश रहो बेटा पिताजी आज रोहन और मुन्नी ने ढंग से भोजन नहीं किया है मैं इन्हें आपके पास इसलिए लाया हूँ ताकि आप इन्हें मोटे अनाज की गुणवत्ता के बारे में समझा सके जैसे आपने मुझे समझाया था मेरे बचपन में अरे वाह बेटा यह तो बहुत ही रुचिकर विषय है आओ तुम्हारी दादी और चाची के पास चले बच्चों स्वास्थ्य और पोषण में मोटे अनाज का बहुत महत्व है हाँ बिल्कुल सही और हमारी पुरानी पीढ़ियों में भी मोटे अनाज पोषण का अभिन्न अंग थे हाँ आज की पीढ़ी क्या जाने कि हम पुरानी पीढ़ी इसी मोटे अनाज जैसे बाजरा मक्का जई जौ आदि को खाकर ही आज की पीढ़ी से अधिक श्रमजीवी बलिष्ठ और फुर्तीले हुआ करते थे और आज भी हैं सही कहा भाभी आपने आज के बच्चों को देखो 
छोटी सी उम्र में ही डायबिटीज जैसे रोग हो रहे हैं हाँ बिल्कुल सही कहा का कि आपने पर दादाजी मोटे अनाज से क्या मतलब है दादाजी दादाजी समझाइए ना बच्चों मोटे अनाज से तात्पर्य गेहूं और चावल के अलावा अन्य अनाजों से है जैसे मक्का जई जौ ज्वार रागी कुटकी आदि और हाँ क्या तुम लोगों को मालूम है इनमें भरपूर पोषक तत्वों की मात्रा होती है नहीं दादाजी हमें यह सब नहीं मालूम बिल्कुल सही और मैं एक डॉक्टर होने के नाते आपको यह बताना चाहता हूँ कि मोटे अनाज का सेवन करने से कई सारी पुरानी बीमारियाँ जैसे कैंसर हृदय रोग मधुमेह आदि को कम करने में भी सहायक है अरे वाह मनमोहन बेटा यह जानकारी तो हमें थी ही नहीं और आजकल की होने वाली बीमारियों के नाम हमने हमारे जमाने में सुने भी ना थे तुमने बिल्कुल सच कहा शांति पर दादाजी क्या हम मोटे अनाज से रोटी के अलावा और कुछ नहीं बना सकते बेटा यह तो तुम्हें तुम्हारी दादी ही बताएगी क्योंकि वो ही कई सालों से मुझे इन अनाजों से बने व्यंजन जो खिला रही है दादी दादी बताओ ना दादी हाँ सही है इस मोटे अनाज से हम दलिया बिस्किट केक कुकीज ब्रेड लड्डू उपमा आदि न जाने कितने सारे स्वादिष्ट व्यंजन भी बना सकते हैं अरे वाह दादी इससे तो बहुत सी अच्छी वे टेस्टी चीज़ें बना सकते हैं बड़ा मज़ा आएगा इन्हें खाने में बच्चों एक बात और विश्व स्वास्थ्य संगठन ने मोटे अनाज के महत्व और लाभों को देखते हुए वर्ष दो को अंतर्राष्ट्रीय मोटा अनाज वर्ष घोषित किया है साथ ही 16 नवंबर को राष्ट्रीय ज्वार दिवस के रूप में मनाने का फैसला किया गया है धन्यवाद दादाजी दादी जी पिताजी आप सब ने हमें भोजन के बारे में अच्छी जानकारी दी है वाह दादाजी रोहन के साथ अब मुझे भी सब समझ आ गया है मैं अपनी सभी सहेलियों को इसके बारे में बताऊंगी और कभी भी भोजन से नहीं रोटूंगी अब तो पहचानो इनकी गुणवत्ता इनकी गुणवत्ता इनकी गुणवत्ता मोटा नाज अपनाओ अपनी ताकत बढ़ाओ मोटा नाज अपनाओ अपनी ताकत बढ़ाओ हेल्दी हो खाना मिलेट का है जमाना हेल्दी हो खाना मिलेट का है जमाना क्यों मक्का स्वाद ये है स्वास्थ्य का संसार क्यों मक्का स्वाद ये है स्वास्थ्य का संसार तीन दिवस जो खाए कभी ना हो बीमार कभी ना हो बीमार तो याद रखें याद रखें जो मक्का ज्वार जो मक्का ज्वार धन्यवाद इंडिजिनियस फेज ऑफ लाइफ शो शो अस हाउ जनरल वेल बींग इज एन समथिंग यू नीड टू मूव माउंटेन्स फॉर बट it is the small changes in the daily acts of life that create it millets are both full of health and taste talking of taste buds a much loved spice among us is fennel from bone strength to weight management to gastric issues fennel contributes across these spaces and more namaskar i am sof your usual post meal friend easing you after a heavy meal but i'm equally appreciated as a condiment freshness and cooling are my prime properties freshness itself is a cooling concept but it has a soothing snugness even in the severest of winters just when it is about to snow it becomes slightly warm even rain 
which is made of water, involves the participation of all the other elements in this process, like rain. Health is a holistic concept. All the elements come together in different proportions to create a perfect harmony. Let's witness the harmony of the elements and the joy of rain with our young performers. Am I? Rajasthan, just like festivals are rich in tradition, indigenous stories, and rich reference, my fellow spice saffron is rich in antioxidant. Grown high in the pure atmosphere of the Himalayan region, saffron adds her signature you to any dish she's added to, and also serves as a natural toxic free dye. Namaskar. A deep hue makes my core. I wear so much of this color that the color Kesarya is named after me. 
I am associated with better memory and calming properties. I am a hue of orange, but all colors are dear to my heart. Yes, Sephrin, colors are an integral part of our Indian culture. Sometimes symbolic, sometimes literal. Colors are everything that India stands for. While all seasons are about colors, the festival of Holi, the most depicted festival in classic and contemporary performing arts, is dedicated exclusively to spreading the joy of colors. Holi, though comes in a season, whenever we talk of multi-use, we talk of Holi. In fact, Holi is a fluid idea, not confined to a faith. Today, we salute the supreme aspect of faith in a Kavali telling the ups and downs of life in numerous hues. Irrespective of the hue we wear, may the colors of faith always surround us, helping us heal, rejuvenate and reveal in the spirit of being alive. <laughs> रंग सब के नसीब दावत सुहा रंग नसीब दाखले दुख सुख आँख मिचोली हो हो सुख दुख आँख मिचोली जी मैं तू जा मैं तू मेरे सारे जहां में तू हो सावत सुहा रंग सब के नसीब दा खेले दुख सुख आंख में चोरी मेरा मुर्शिद खेले
करम का रंग दे सब संसार मेरा What an experience this has been. All of us, with our own colors and properties, bring vitality to human life. That is so true. Nothing can work in isolation. While people do need to take measures to improve their holistic health, one can heal and thrive only in a healthy environment. Yes, we saw the beauty of seasons in the last two performances, but if the bigger crisis of environment looming over life on earth is not solved, then how can humans become prosper? The prosperity of one cannot be at the cost of others perishing. This idea is our one message that we, the spices, would like to give you. If you want to heal, work in unison towards healing one another and the environment around you. So, you see the true meaning of wellness? Indeed. Indeed, I do. This box that you have given me is not only a treasure of colors, but also timeless wisdom of holistic health. I hope that we are able to hold on to and practice this wisdom that has been a part of our traditional knowledge from times immemorial. Physical and mental well-being go hand in hand with good health of all in the sea and on the land. Fitness helps us recoup. Faith eases our pain. Prosperity thrives in our fields, soaking in nourishing rain. Every hue of life we celebrate and respect one and all. As, seas as seasons thrive in their glory, summer, winter, spring and fall. Healthy relationships bring true progress and make enough space. We heal from within when we work to make the world a better place. We, we heal, heal from, from within, within when we work to make the world a better place.
you ladies and gentlemen for your gracious presence and support it was a pleasure presenting our 37th annual prize giving and cultural program we hope you enjoyed seeing it as much as we enjoyed presenting it to you good night and thank you once again